Hello, everyone. This is Tracy Brown coming to you today to do your dashikis and bonnets. Someone else said something else. Something I forgot. It was real funny, though. How's everyone doing? Hi, Spiritual Journal. Oh, my goodness. I got to sneeze. And you know, sneezing is not a good thing. <coughs> oh, man. I don't even want to sneeze on camera because I think I can give you the COVID via the camera. So I only want to sneeze on camera, people. Um, it's just California is very chilly right now. It's like 70 degrees and we're just not used to this weather. It's very chilly. There's no sun out today. Like we don't, we don't understand the lack of sun. Not in this part of California. There are other California parts like Big Bear that get snow, believe it or not. But we, where I am, why do I look so great in this? <laughs> I look a mighty, 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 mighty great now. All right. Hello, Marie. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hi, Sabrina. Hi, sweetie. Haven't seen you in a while. So I have. So I have a couple of girls that do something called an open box review of tarot cards. And I love this concept because I have a hard time. I know the ghetto cooking show. I know I should be like of gratitude that we do have cold weather, right? It's just that I... I just want mediocre weather. I want San Diego weather, forever 75 degrees. And you're right. Um, but I was going to say something to you. Oh, so there's these girls from the, from the book club. And what you are... All right, let me get my act together. There are these women in the book club that graduated from the tarot class and what i can tell you about the book club that they've been in for about a year now it is free the only prerequisite is that you have to take tarot and what i'm finding out of the book club is that these girls are entrepreneurs and that wasn't my intention at all my intention was to allow your spirituality to rise in a safe place, right? Because your family members don't always let you feel safe when you want to talk about spirits, right? And so the book club became a safe place to just commune, right? For the higher spirituality or to be comfortable in saying, you know, I had a dream last night. Most people say I have a weird dream. In my grouping, weird is not an okay word because everything that's weird is normal to us, right? But what I'm finding out of these women that took the tarot class is that they are entrepreneurs and they are amazing. And I'm loving the hell out of them. So, um, let me see something. <laughs> I'm loving my son and his wife too. I just, ugh. I think I'm just in a loving space. And actually I've been crying a lot lately, guys. You know, I'm so emotional. Like, what is your name? for the open card reveals on IG. All right, what I'm trying to say is this. Here's what I'm trying to say. No, hood celebrity, I've been here every day. Yeah, maybe it's cause it's, um, 
hood celebrity says, you know, it's Christmas. That's why you're emotional. It could be that, but I love Christmas. And I like, I love Christmas. Like y'all love Halloween. I love Christmas. So I don't think that's it. I think that it's 2020. I think it's the COVID. I think 3000 people are dying every day. I think that there's a new world order that's coming and not everybody can tell it. Not, not everybody can see it. Cause I was watching on Instagram and Instagram was like, oh, I just can't wait for 2020 to be over. And I'm like, it's just begun. This is not 2020 ending. This is 2020 morphing into a new world order. And because it's full of chaos, the new world order, it has to be worse in 2021 because the structural systems have to be broken. So this is just the beginning. Not to scare you all, but realistically, the way we've always thought about the end of the year is, oh my God, I can't wait to the end of the year because the new year, it belongs to me. Ooh, mm, mm, the new, where's my champagne? The new year belongs to me. And it's like, no, don't celebrate. <laughs> no, don't celebrate. Just be still and just know, like, make it uneventful is what I'm trying to say. Don't don't bring, like, oh, thank God it's over, champagne party. Let's bring everybody over with no masks. Like, don't do what you did for Thanksgiving, everyone. Just don't do it. 2021 got jokes too, except it's worse because it's a five year and a five year is about change. Tell me what structure you know out in the world that has a five point essence. Like everything's usually four, four is stability. That's 2020. Five, because not too many structures fell apart. Schools are still trying to stay open and colleges are still trying to stay open. So they didn't break down the structure. You all got sick. But they didn't break down the structure. So with that being said, 2021 is structural change. Lamar Townsend did a 2021. So check out his video. Lord have mercy. I can't take these people. So what I'm trying to say is, oh my God, never grow a beard, people. Oh, when you get older, it's just not pretty. Yo, don't get old, because then you got to buy one of these. It works. You ever see these things on commercial? And you got to, like, take the hair out. Oh, hold on. That feels good. Ah, oh, it feels good. I'm constantly giving reviews to people that don't pay me. People need to start paying me. This is really good, by the way. I do it for my eyebrows, too, but they have a skinnier one for the eyebrows. And I bought the skinny one, but it broke. So this this is never broke. I've had it for two years now. It's really nice. Especially if you're taking biotin. I know I'm all over the place today. But if you're taking biotin, then hair grows where it shouldn't grow. And biotin is for the hair, the face, the nails. I don't grow my nails anymore. I just don't. But in any case, um, all right, that's a, all right, you might want to fix that name. All right, I don't really care. But in any case, this is tea tree oil from um, Somatic RX. I know, sweetie, I know. 
I know, alone at that. They had to do a health check on him. I know, I know. I know all these things. I'm not a fan of talking about death a lot. That's just because I deal with them every day. So rest in peace. Um, no, Cherie, no, you don't need to have visions. I can teach you tarot. That's why I give tarot classes because no, no. Tarot, it's developed and your visions, you could have zero visions and the minute you step in, the visions will come. Hi, and that fits a pretty name. Um, so 2021, be mindful that 2021 is going to be an interesting year. Be mindful of that. All right? Structural changes have to occur. And that includes in your personal life, at your jobs, that's big corporation, big business, that's politics. You're going to see structural changes. Things have to get dismantled. So if it's your relationship, try not to hold on to something that has to get dismantled. All right? If it's politics, watch politics. Anything that Trump got away with, they will tighten it. Promise you. No one like Trump will ever get into office again and do this, this raping of the politics and of the people ever again. So politics is going to be interesting. Banking and finances and the stock market all are going to take a hit. Real estate will take a hit. All right. Oh, well, we're in the middle of class right now. So the next one will probably be in February, February or March. So just come up, come aboard for February or March. All right, guys, let's get this party started. I've decided to, oh, Jesus Christ, I don't know these people's names. Figure this out. The problem with me is that I do everything last minute. It's not like I actually am a professional and I'm like, I'm going to discuss this today. I don't, I'm not a professional. I tell you guys that all the time. I'm not a professional. I'm a psychic. All right. Let me see something. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, I got you. Okay, so, I have this coming Sunday, uh, Destiny Dingle. The Dingle ate your baby. What's Dingle for? Dingle, Dingle. Christina Dingle. Let's be from that movie, The Bad Seed, is where I... Dango, dango. Um, Destiny, D-E-S-T-I-N-E-D-A-N-G-E-L-L. -E -E -L -L. I'll post it on my site. And the Sunflower Diaries, they do what's called an uh, uh, open reveal of tarot cards. They love tarot cards. They have so many that they're discussing the tarot cards that they brought and what fascinates them about the cards. So if you want to get started um, before my classes, start looking at some tarot cards that could be of interest to you. And they could be tarot, they could be oracle. I don't believe these are really tarot. I think they are though, but they're made differently. So it doesn't feel like it's a scary tarot deck, right? And this one is called the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. So what I've decided to do was watch their uh, episode. This Sunday will be a, a second episode. And I've decided to buy a deck that fascinates me through their eyes and through their words 
to use on dashikis and vines. All right. That's what I decided to do. <gasps> oh, Kate. I, Kate said I'm her vitamin. <laughs> I'm her vitamin. Kate, I need a man to say that to me. <laughs> You're my tonic. You're my vitamin. I love vitamin, though, because at least... That would tell me I'm healthy to you. So thank you. No, Patricia, everybody buy your own decks. Be of power. Be in control. Buy your own goddamn decks. Who the hell is going to buy you a deck? Most people don't believe in this. So who's going to give it to you? Somebody tricked a whole group of people to say that so that you wouldn't invest in your intuition and your spirituality. Well, the only way is somebody has to buy it for you. How's that going to happen? You're in control of your life, your spirituality, your growth by your own goddamn debt. Who the hell is this? Who's asking me? Somebody's watching my... Let me tell you something. Somebody's literally watching... And you've read with me before. What kind of girl? You don't ask me private questions like that. You get a reading, TracyBrownLive.com. You want, listen, listen. <laughs> don't piss me off. <laughs> I had to laugh because I'm about to explode. Listen, I do readings. Buy your own deck. Thank you. Seven Spiritual Journal. She knows. She's from my tarot class. Buy your own deck. Listen to me. When you get a reading from me, young lady, you have to get a reading from me. And after you get the reading, I'm going to be your cheerleader. You can text me. We can talk. If you harass me, I will block you. Like, I, have to, I don't care. Anytime after a reading, if you ask a question in a text message, Instead of just updating me, I'd rather you update me because I want to be one with your growth. I want to be your cheerleader. But if you ask a question, it's a reading. Get your reading, TracyBrownLife.com. Text me, 213-458-7408. I think that's the number. All right, sweetie? I'm sorry. I love you. Yeah, I know you love me. Well, I got to tell you, if you did it, then somebody else going to do it. So now just we're going to just tell everybody what they need to be doing because you need you, yeah. But if you update me, I got your back. I'll talk anything about your growth. Text. I'll talk. I'll text. Not talk. Don't call me. I'll text anything about, um, you know, your decision making. Well, after the reading, Tracy, I started doing this. Like, I love that kind of stuff. Anytime a question comes into it, it's a reading. So that's when you and I need to talk. What's going after the reading, sweetie? <laughs> Snoop, you know, you know people, people be doing what people do. But people forget I'm people first, too. I was born human. So my human side comes back. I'm not a nice girl. All right. Uh-uh. You can't take advantage of me. I look nice. I look nice. I'm a beast. <laughs> I'm a beast. All right. What's going after the reading, D? Milan, don't call me hood. Don't do that. That's mean. That's mean. I'm your grandmother, bitch. Don't call me hood. I'll block you. And I'm serious. I said I'm a beast. So you're going to make a mistake right now. I'm not hood, laugh out loud. I'm taking care of the goddamn world. You don't call me hood. And I'll block you. 
call your grandmama hood? You do that to your grandmama? You do that to your mama? Oh, maybe you do. But you don't do that with me. All right. Damn it. I'm never on Periscope. I'm going to block you. I swear to God. I don't know what yes means, but if you can type yes, sound disrespectful. If you can talk to your mama and your grandmama like that, I don't need you around. I just blocked her and she's been a long time. Don't mess with me, y'all. You come out your face wrong. I don't take shit from a six-year-old grandchild. And that's blood. That's relative. I won't take it from any of you. Well, that escalated. It did. It did. It escalated quickly. I don't tolerate disrespect. I don't know what y'all are doing in your lives. You can't come to me with no disrespect. I'm out. Boom. Get out. Blocked. See the difference? I don't take no crap from no man. No crap from no girlfriends. No crap from my relatives. My son gives me no shit. Trust me. Believe me. Respect. At all times. Even if I want to be a hot tamale mama. Respect that. That's how you got here, son. You can't treat me any other way. Ugly duckling, look what I found. I was waiting for you to come back. Look what I found. I was waiting for you to come back. I'm cleaning out my house for the new year, and I mean closets, everything, going through all the paperwork. Look what I found, sweetie. There once was an ugly duckling. I really like Hans Christian Andersen, so I was thinking, all right, I'll tell you guys, but I asked Spirit, can I do it? And Spirit was like, yes. And I was like, when? And they were like, not now. So I think I'm going to um, start a podcast and read just from this, just from this, and then have conversations about the ugly duckling and what that really means because most metaphysical people are ugly ducklings that ultimately turn into swans, which is why I don't take disrespect. I know who I am. I'm a swan. And I help people and I change lives. And I know that is what I do. And that's why I don't take disrespect. I'll cut a bitch. All right. Yeah, but Cynthia, I would never call you that, though, sweetie. You'd have to call yourself that. But no one gets to call me that. And I don't care if you're from the hood. What do I care? It's not, it's not important to me. I care about your spirituality. But you don't get to place me and label me. That's That was the problem that I had. Do you see the difference, Cynthia? It's not about you. It's about me. And I'm a grown-ass woman. Ain't nobody going to treat me with no kind of disrespect. Zero. None. Cut it off. Done. All right? And that's something that you all just need to learn. That's something you all just need to learn. My husband called me a bitch once. Once that happened, I calculated my way out of that marriage. You don't get to do that a second time and think I'm asleep with you. Anderson's fairy tales. I, I must have gotten it like so cheap, three for five. So I don't even know where I would have picked this up from. But back in the day, ugh, I only read books before social media came along. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. 
All right, there's some private stuff going on in, in YouTube. <clears throat> Too funny. Right, Marie, you grew up on these stories. Well, I was thinking that the one I remember the most is Han Christian Anderson. And I was thinking there must be something else here that could be relate relatable while we go through 2020. And I was thinking of starting a podcast just to read. And there's another book that I absolutely love and I recommend it all the time, but it really helps if, um, if we can have conversations about it because I make my book club read all the books. But then I was thinking, maybe we should just all have a, a book club. That's what I was thinking. Okay, no fighting girls, no fighting. <laughs> Stay focused. Stay focused on me. That's all that matters. Me. I'm everything. Me. Leo, me. Okay, I'm over myself. <clears throat> what does today's... I should, right? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Hi, Moon Goddess, sweetie. How are you? Hi, All About Romy. Hi. Hi, Wonder Woman. What a cute name. All right. How much time did I waste talking about somebody calling me out my face? I really don't like that, guys. I really don't. So don't do it. All right. And don't do it to others. And maybe don't do it to yourself. Maybe it was so easy to say because the person feels bad about themselves. That's the way they see themselves. Maybe it's time. Maybe. This is good. Oh, where's my cream? Maybe it's time to manifest a different language for yourselves, right? Maybe it's time to look at life differently for yourself. Hood, you were not born in a hood. The hood was made for you. Hmm, didn't think about that, right? Right? The hood was made for you. It's where resources don't come. It's where they don't educate your children. All right. So I don't I'm not a fan of taking on the hood because the hood wasn't about elevating. It's about depreciating. And if you live in a depreciated environment, your mind is also very much depreciated. And so, yeah, Cynthia, you can proudly say that you came from the hood because you are now educated. I don't know why the hood needs to be part of that as a title. You can say, because I just don't like the word hood, and I'm going to stick to that. You could say I was born on 88th and, and Cyprus, which is not the best environment to be raised in. I don't know if hood is something I would keep owning because the hood was given to you. And so if you change your language and change your words, you already elevate yourself. But I'm not a fan of, I came from the hood and I'm intelligent. I came from the hood and I graduated. That's a story that other people like to tell their way. And we've got to start telling our own story, our way. Cynthia, I know what it is. It's still, take it out your vocabulary. She keeps trying to educate me. Take it out your vocabulary. Leave hood to the people that gave it to you. Take it out. Okay? Because others don't use the word hood. Only a certain category of ethnic people use that word. So don't explain to me what it means. I know. Remember, I'm grown. I'm not smart. I'm just grown. Well, you don't have to agree with me, Cynthia, somewhat. I'm talking to somebody else that can understand what I'm trying to say. So you can get there with me or you can lag behind. But eventually, the people that follow me, they're going to get it. So we're not, we're not doing this. We're doing this. All right? I'm shaking up your spirituality so y'all don't believe what was given to you. You're much better than what was handed to you. And those are the things that need to change in 2021. So good luck, people. 
Oh no. Oh, I ruined a picture of my sister. All right, I'll figure it out. I was gonna give her this for her birthday, but look, it's got a red stain on it. But I know what I do because I'm very creative. I'm just gonna make the whole bottom red. I know how to handle that. All right, I'm talking too much and I'm lecturing too much. I'm trying to tell you, we tried to get here, but I didn't get there. Sunflower Diaries on IG and at Destiny, wait, what's her name? At Destiny Dangle, D-A-N-G-E-L-L, -L, has an open book, open tarot reveal on Sundays. And they're gonna be there this Sunday and start looking at the different types of tarot cards that they brought for themselves. Remember, Tracy doesn't have this, the rules. There's no rules in my world, except to be kind to others. If you're kind to others, you ain't gonna have no problems. And so buy your own decks, look at how they influence, um, how they see decks. And for me, Every time there's a car that I like, I'm going to buy it just to have it for the reveal. I mean, for the dashikis and bonnets. All right. So let's see what this says. Manifest. Manifest. Yes, moon goddess, you are in charge of your life. Stop victimizing and take charge. All right. Oh, well, a deck for beginners, again, that just, that's all relative. You got to feel it. That's why I'm trying to tell you all to look at the, the reveal. Look at the open box reveal. That's what it's, I don't know what they call it, but that's what I'll call it right now. Open box reveal. Take your time. Don't buy a deck right now. Take your time. Really feel it. Look at the open box reveal and see what resonates with you. This one is called the Psychic Heart for uh, Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Yes, I am mad because somebody called me hood. Yeah, that made me mad. Sucks to be you if you all don't like me mad. What is what is wrong with you people? I'm mad because somebody called me hood, and it's not funny. That's why I'm mad. I'm mad because I'm a grandmother. And nobody gets to do that to me. So it sucks to be you if you can't handle my anger. Yes, I'm mad. Somebody called me hood today. This is my favorite. There you go. If you hold on to hood, even when you're educated, you will still manifest some of the residual of what it was meant to do to us. Thank you, Candace Land. That was beautiful. All right, that was absolutely beautiful. Let's keep that up there as a reminder to everyone that grew up in the hood. All right, manifest. 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 I have no idea what manifest means. I have no idea. All right, guys, let's read it because I have no idea. Oh, God, this is one of those books that breaks it up between colors. All right. All right, let's see. Manifest, manifest, black border. I don't have anything black, by the way. Do you know Ezra's favorite color is black and red? Such an amazing kid. Manifest, 31. It's like the magician. All right. Manifest. Key words. Create, focus, magic, clarity, intent. This is a time of great power for you. The manifest is possible because you will have all the tools at your disposal to create what you desire. 
There's a variety of tools that can be put to good use. Also the ability to love unconditionally, to support, to cherish, to listen, to understand, to forgive, to be kind, to be joyful, and even to be silly. All of these are tools in managing affairs of the heart. Take time to determine what, what, what's your best tool and use them to work your own unique brand of magic around relationships. I use my power to manifest deliberately with clear intent. Also means the magician. Hi, Tiffany, sweetie, how are you? All right. Oh, I'm not sure what you all are talking about, but pretty brown girl, that sums it up. Let's just agree to disagree. That's for y'all, because I have never agreed to disagree. Never. You all have to do it my way. I'm not agreeing to disagree. It's my way or you can't be in my essence. Because whatever I say to you does not hurt you. If somebody calls me hood, that hurts my feelings. You got to go. Because I would never do that to you, ever. Unless I'm trying to tell you it's a hood mentality and we've got to grow out of that. I've had readings like that. And I'm like, no, that's a hood mentality. You can't keep operating under a hood mentality. And someone calling me hood and I'm a grandmother I'm a grown ass woman. You in my space, you in my home. When you come to my channel, this is my home. You don't get to call me out my face ever, ever. But you're right. Some get it while others don't. And I'm okay with that. Don't disrespect. Everything in here should be universal to everyone here. Thank you, pretty brown girl. Thank you. I appreciate what you just said. Cynthia, stop. You're explaining yourself in a way where you keep losing the point. Stop trying to explain yourself. We're comfortable with how you call yourself names. We're comfortable with that. I'm not going to stop you. I've already told you it's not healthy. I'm done. Period. No, sweetie, he won't be here for a while. Sorry. Why aren't you in school? What time is it? What time do these kids get out of school? It's 11.30. Zoom, do something. Oh my God, my babies, these children. Um. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, pretty brown girl. I agree, I don't let people run shit on any of the ghetto cooking show platforms. Oh, you better give me your link. I just block people by, delete, yeah, yeah. Because I, I'm not trying to help you all get it. Treat people how they want to be treated, not how you want. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. Treat people how you want to be treated, not how you want to be, not how you want to be treated. Treat people how they want to be treated, not how you want to be treated. I think if any of you came out of the hood, and the hood could mean anything. I think if any of you came out of poverty of any kind, don't call yourself names. You know what it took to get there? Don't keep reminding people where you came from. Media loves to do that. You ever see a successful black person? They will always tell you their terrible, disgusting beginnings, always. I tell my own story. You don't get to tell my story. I tell it. All right. No, no, Miss Newton. Listen, I'm always taking a high, high, highest frequency. But sometimes I gotta lay people out. No, 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 no. Today's that day. No, 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 no. We're going into 2021 and y'all still acting the same after 3,000 people die every day from the COVID? No, today I'm going to lay people out. You don't call me hood. And I'm going to say it over and over and over again until y'all get it. Don't try me. Don't do it again.
period. And if people can't understand that because they came from the hood, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with anything that you decide is best for your life. I'm telling you, it's not okay. I'm telling you as a whole culture of people, you were taught to be that way. Stop it. You're better than that. You're better than calling yourselves names. All of you. Even the word bitch. I don't like that word either. Girl, you're a bitch. Ooh, you girl. I like that outfit. You're such a bitch. Or oh, my favorite, boss bitch. Ain't nobody a boss bitch. No one is a boss bitch. Hi, CJ. Hi, sweetie. You might be a boss. That's it. Tomorrow, I'll take the high frequency role. Today, somebody called me hood. I don't like it. And she got blocked. And Cynthia, slow down your language. You're being defensive. It's not that none of this is going to be that big of a deal. Stop competing against people who have taken the high road. Too many people here know exactly what I'm talking about. They've taken a different road. Get on the road that we're all on, Cynthia. I'm serious. Get on. Because I'm not going to let no one call you names. You're not going to call somebody else names. You're not going to tell me how comfortable you're with, with the word hood. You're not going to do that. Not today. Not post George Floyd. No. <laughs> oh, Cynthia. You ain't trying to hear me. You might want to leave me. I, I don't want to block you because I understand you're being defensive at this moment. But you might want to leave to find what's going on with you. Seriously. You might want to take a step back and just really look at look at look at something else. And then you're always welcome to come back. But it's just it's too hard to get through a thick head. Didn't your mama say thick head hard behind or something like that? Didn't your mama say that? that in this, you're being way too defensive. And I want better for you. Oh, Cynthia, you're being defensive. <laughs> yeah, I do this for a living, sweetie. You're being way too defensive. <sighs> in any case, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Yeah, nobody plays those bitch games, not today. Not with all these beautiful entrepreneurs out here. No, 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 no. Cynthia, I get it. You're trying to reach understanding. You just made the whole show about you. Okay. All right, sweetie. Pull it down. It's okay. <laughs> yeah defensive and argumentative, which is a bad combo. And you're making everything about you. So there's something else going on here. And it's not, it's not about somebody else calling me the hood. Remember that you walked into this because somebody else called me the hood. Where's your defensive? Like, what is that? Get out of this. Stay out. Quiet. Zip it. Zip it. You ever have your mom tell you that? Zip it. One more word. And I will leap across this room, right? You ever have your mama tell you that? Zip it. And you go. Zip it. Your mama just tried to save you. That's all. She's like, I know you have a problem. I know you're lying. I know you're about to tell me something. And I don't want to know that this is my child. <laughs> Tiffany, I know. I know. Cynthia, you're public. You're speaking on a live feed. I'm not calling you out. You are public. It's, it's a nightmare. It's a, okay. <laughs> you can't do that. I'm, I'm within my rights. You are writing on a live feed. 
you made yourself public. So, good luck with that. I'm within my rights. All right. <laughs> when my mom said zip it, I knew to be quiet mid-sentence. Mid-sentence, zip it. Okay. I will miss Sheena. I love Sheena. She's adorable. She Sheena corrects me a lot, and she's like 30-something. She's like, Tracy. <laughs> she's a Taurus. Sheena's a Taurus, and I do have this thing with Tauruses. Like, I, re I get their energy. My dad was a Taurus. I get Taurus energy. <sighs> Okay, wisdom. So manifest, find balance. Find balance. Let's see. This is beautiful. Look at this card. This is balance in time. Nurturing, which is the water. Flowering, growing. Right? Do you see the balance card? Protection is the shield. Getting there, see the mountain. Is that a ring? Yeah, that's a ring. Find balance. Don't worry about her. She she can't. You can't win here. This is a lose lose. You can't win. Don't worry about her. As long as I have my others here with me, I'm okay. Just came into somebody else's mess and then made it a mess, made it more messy. Uh, <clears throat> Tiffany knows what I'm talking about, right, Tiffany? Right, you're pushing your luck when somebody says, zip it, zip it. I will, spiritual journey, I will. Thank you for saying something. It's just too much. Balance, find balance. 79. Find balance. Cope. Multitask. Breathe. I think I need to find balance right now. Breathe. 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 Right? You may find that matters of the heart require extra effort at this time. Extra effort. Sure does. More and more demands may be placed upon you, requiring you to juggle your attention. It's family, gatherings, school commitments, requests for assistance, and other obligations may arise within a short period of time. Just breathe. Be flexible. Adapt your approach to each situation at hand. Know that you have the ability to keep everything and everyone in balance. All right? Yeah, go look at the open. They might, I wonder if they saved the video. Let me ask them. Because if they didn't, they got some work to do. They got some business work to do. All right. Last card. Oh. Last card. Wow. This is very powerful. Dashiki is what I'm wearing, sweetie. It's it's a it's a, a look that takes us back to an ethnic place like Africa. Back in the day when I was a kid, we called them Dashikis. They have a whole nother name, but I use Dashiki from my era. Z, if you want your own personal reading, TracyBrownLive.com, TracyBrownLive.com, TracyBrownLive.com. Teach. This is very powerful, the teach part. 
This is very powerful because part of what we all need to do moving forward, since there's been a cultural revolution, a personal cultural revolution. Um, oh yes, I'll do that. Are we at the 14th yet? Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow, all right? I'll do a special thing tomorrow before uh, the view from the other side. All right. Um, every It's everyone's job, everyone's job to teach and particularly to teach spirituality. Everyone has a responsibility to teach. All right. Or mumus. Back in the day, it would have been a mumu, but the look represents some African culture. The look is, is what matters. All this beautiful design, that makes it a dashiki. Or like, like you said, um, a house coat back in the day. Or wealthy people call it, uh, oh, they call it something else. And then in Dubai, they call it something else. Like, but it's all this, it's very long, very flowing, very elaborate looking. And uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills went all the way to Dubai and wore this type of look. It was so beautiful. Um, but I call it dashikis because it's a part of an, uh, a breakthrough moment when I was a kid. Um, Yes, Lakeisha, thank you. Evolution. This is an evolution. Teaching. We have to start teaching everyone. So interesting enough, they do have children here, right? But it's not about children. It's about thinking that everyone has a childlike mind. And it's all about teaching in terms of elevation. And we've got to do it together. You don't need a platform like mine. It could be your coworker at work. Although the name of this card is teach, it brings the dual energies of both teaching and learning. When you teach, when I push out, I give to myself too. Because if I tell someone something that they should be doing, I have to follow it. Um, the wisdom, you have much wisdom to offer. That's everyone that's watching. This is about you. You have much wisdom to offer regarding affairs of the heart. The wisdom has been gained through all your joys and all your sorrows. Come on. Who am I talking to that's been through it? At this time, there may be an opportunity to assist someone regarding a relationship. That person may even be you. When the opportunity arises, remember the shepherd, one who gently guides his sheep along the desired path. Use the same gentleness in guiding yourself or others. So I would think that would go for me. All right. Kath, 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 Dan. Yes, in the Arabic world. Yes, yes, yes. I love that. Yes. Um, yeah, but we're only talking about clothing today. Don't let's not go left. We're just talking about the different names that this is called. My favorite actually is Mumu. I like Mumu. <laughs> but I didn't grow up with that name. So time to manifest people. Make that a thing. Find balance in the eclectic crazy that comes along. Just breathe, just breathe. Also, it's about teaching, teaching in a healthy kind of way. I don't think this feed was the healthiest, but you know what? I don't care because all of my feeds are healthy. And if somebody called me the hood, how that's that supposed to get healthy? But I do have to come back to my center, find the balance, so I can go back to healthy teaching. Well, let me tell you something. I teach every day. When I do my readings, I teach. When I'm at the supermarket, I teach. 
I'm constantly helping to educate, to change some spiritual structural um, stance that others have. And I constantly get, I can think of it that way. Mm -hmm. I know, time to think about it a little differently and good luck to you. That'll be at the supermarket. <laughs> right, the first part of the video was teaching, by the way, and then it turned left. Um, this I brought uh, years ago because I was going to do these love readings and I brought all these cards to do the love readings and it did not work out. It did not work out. So I stopped doing the love readings. Now I understand why. And sometimes you got to trust spirit, even though it doesn't make sense. I was like, well, y'all ain't getting the love readings because if I can't feel it, how can I convince you? And so I pulled out from doing the love readings and went back to just doing the horoscope readings. Moving forward, the open box reveal with the Sunflower Diaries and at Destiny Dangle, D-A-N-G-E-L-L, -L, but I'll list it in my YouTube. Um, they have helped me to realize that I can get some cards and use them for dashikis and bonnets. All right. Oh, no, they're very beautiful. I like this guy, by the way. His name is John Holland, and he makes some good decks. And I think one of the decks that they recommended last Sunday was... Um, come here. Hold on. I don't need the picture, ladies. Did y'all save it? All right. Listen, we're all learning. We're all trying to figure things out. If it turns out they saved it, hopefully I can put it in the YouTube feed, all right? But yes, these cards are vibrant and they're beautiful. And remember, we're all out here to teach. I do want to add, though, try not to bring ignorance in your teaching. Try not to be, try not to say things like, well, that's the way it's always done. Because elevation is the key to that's the way it's always done. Parents used to beat their kids with, with no help, and now you just can't beat your kids. So you can't say that's the way it's always done because change is required. Does that make sense what I'm trying to say? It's important that you, if you are going to start talking, preaching, Cynthia, talking, you know, you, you, you have to be elevated. Or don't teach today. Don't try it today. But you have to realize that something about you needs to change to get others around you to operate better, different, of higher authority. But you also have to recognize that you need to change, Cynthia. Words. Oh, there you go. Words are powerful. Yes. Yes which is why I didn't like the word hood. It's powerful to tear somebody down and it's powerful to build somebody up. Choose building up at all times. All right, I'm out. I will be best tomorrow. <laughs> By the way, I'm taking that from Melania. Be best. I like it. She didn't know how to use it. I'm going to use it. Bye, guys. Let her sue me. <laughs> Bye, guys.